Hi. Um, Y'all, I gained weight during the pandemic. The good news is my tits got bigger. Yeah, my husband was like, yeah. The bad, the bad news is I had to buy all new clothes the next size up. My husband was like, ooh, still worth it, yeah. So um, I got my new clothes and I ran into an old friend and she took one look at me and she goes, oh my gosh, you're pregnant, right? Ah, I know, right? Like, bitch, are you trying to fight me? I thought we were friends. I thought we had all decided as a society to stop asking women this question. Even if you see an extra pair of legs dangling between a woman's regular legs, you keep your mouth shut. You don't know her business? That could be a parasitic twin. Yeah, so people are still asking this question, and I think I figured out what we should say back, okay? Be totally nice about it. Just be like, no, I'm not pregnant, but I totally understand why you would say that. I do look like, I catch a lot of dick. (laughs) Yeah, my aura is just dick magnet. I can't help it, I can't help it. I do get offered a lot of seats, Uh, But it's not because of my baby bump. (laughs) No, it's because I look like I've been pounded by a symphony of cocks. (laughs) And I I just need to take a load off, you know. Well, more than one load, if you know. If you know what I mean, I think you know what I mean. So tell me, how's your love life going? (laughs) I think if we said that, people would stop freaking asking that question. Um, I am married to a super sexy atomic physicist. Ooh. And I know I look like an old 12 year old. (laughs) But this is my trick, y'all. If you hang out with all people who have PhDs, I'm like a solid eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it's PhDs in the hard sciences, I'm a 10, y'all. Yeah, that's Einstein's theory of bonable relativity right there. Yeah. Neil deGrasse Tyson can come over to my house anytime he wants. I may not have a doctorate, but that doesn't mean I don't know how to play doctor. hey Who wants to check on my Schrodinger's cat? Who wants to check on my kitty? Y'all, that's a highbrow pussy joke, okay? If you don't know what Schrodinger's cat is, don't worry. Like, I don't know what it is either, okay? Like, it's some science thing my husband told me about where there's a cat in a box and you have to check on it. And my brain heard cat in box. I'm like, oh, that's a pussy joke. Is there a beaver? Do they get snatched? I'm not a grown-up. I'm not a grown-up. Like, if you watch The Big Bang Theory, I'm like Penny, and my husband's like Leonard, okay? Which I think proves two things. One, that the scientific method works, because we both magna cum loudly. hey Bazinga. It also proves that opposites really do attract, which is sweet. Um, Or as my physicist husband likes to say, objects with dissimilar charges are drawn together to establish a stable equilibrium. Oh, that's so sexy. And if you don't think that's sexy, you should know a man who talks like that has a (laughs) J-O-B. And he may also have an action figure collection. (laughs) But if he makes enough money, you can buy a big enough house. You never have to watch him playing with his dolls. (laughs) I I have to be careful how much I tease my husband for being a nerd. I'm a nerd too, y'all. I'm a musical theater nerd. Do we have, yay! Woo! Look at them pretending to be shy. That's so cute. Yeah, I don't know about you, but in high school, Being in the drama club was the only birth control I needed, okay? Yeah, yeah. Tap shoes are just little chastity belts you wear on your feet. Uh, Also, like, you can't go around in the world just, like, bursting into song and expect to get a boyfriend, at least a straight one. 
<laughs> Woo! Yeah, if I had a reality TV show in high school, it'd be called Queer Eye for the Desperate Girl. <laughs> yeah. I had a great time with those guys, though. They were great at dancing. They were great at jazz hands. Just not so great at spirit fingering. <laughs> <laughs> I'm William freaking Shakespeare up here right now. <laughs> no, I do want you all to know that the musical theater nerd science nerd combo is actually the best nerd on nerd action you can get. Because if you have two science nerds get together, the kids turn out ooh, <laughs> like smart but too smart. Like, have you ever seen Elon Musk dance? There's a reason people think he's an alien, okay? <laughs> and if you have two musical theater nerds get together, the kids turn out broke. Oh my gosh, so broke, bless their hearts. Did some of you all think I was gonna say two musical theater nerds get together, the kids turn out gay? I wish to get a gay baby, it takes two alt-right conservative Christians <laughs> to get together. <laughs> Because from what I can tell, God has a sense of humor. Yeah. Whew. He is a sassy bitch. So, y'all, uh, my husband and I have been married for 21 years this summer. Thank you. Thank you. And after that amount of time, we have run out of main characters to role play in the bedroom. We've had to move on to supporting cast members. <laughs> Like the French maid's half-sister from out of town. She may not know how to clean, but that doesn't mean she's afraid to get dirty. <laughs> I know that's stupid. It's, you do stupid things when you've been married a long time. My husband asked me to do a strip tease for him, and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Finally a use for my musical theater degree. So I slapped on my tap shoes, and I, I warmed up my jazz elbows, and I was like, ah. I'm gonna take all my clothes off, take them off right now. My husband said, time out, no, no, no. I was like, oh, sassafras, is my soft shoe not getting your dick hard? Is my razzmatazz not getting you randy? And he's like, Amy, please stop, please stop, or we are gonna be here all night. And y'all, people say that women comics are not funny. So it's just so nice to know that my husband's boner thinks I am hilarious. <laughs> it's just nice to have a fan, you know? Y'all, that's my time. I'm Amy Brown. Thank you so much.